if I can get Metalcraft going. I'm going to go with uh, Disperse. I just feel like it's better against a more, like, there's no deck it's really bad against, whereas Halt Order could be bad against either anything very aggressive or Infect. It's pretty brutal, usually. So I'll go with Dispense, and if, if, if Halt Order looks like it'll be good, I'll bring it in. There's a lot of sideboarding that I can potentially do here. So let's add the lands, who would they suggest? 12-5. It's probably a little low on the swamps. I do have a grass, like, the only, I only have two black cards, but, or three black cards, plus the Trigon, but like three of them would like to have double black. I'm going to go 10-7. I think that's okay. Not ideal, but I also have a silver mirror. I'm going to go 10-7. I think I like having seven if if I wanna get double. Oh. All right, so uh, here we are, round one. My opponent won the die roll and elected to play last. Um, I'm gonna keep this. I got the spell bomb. I got some nice cards. Even if I only have two lands on the play, the spell bomb helps. And that end, he mulligan. So playing last is either uh, control deck or metalcraft or, or control metalcraft, uh, and not and I guess not the aggressive metalcraft because like aggressive metalcraft I think you still want to play with, but like if you have or like also like if you have something like arc trail in your deck, like I like to I like to be on the draw if I've got an arc trail uh, or two if I'm really lucky. <clears throat> nice. Use that swamp. Uh, I'd rather not rush into cycling the spell bomb. I'm not gonna have the opportunity anyway without anyone playing a creature. Ooh, there's a good creature. Uh, I think I cycle it here just because I need uh, lands if he plays a creature. Hmm, interesting. So like a controlling white... White red's usually pretty aggressive. And if he's playing that card, it means he's sort of more uh, controlling. I'm gonna put out my Trigon of Corruption here, rather than rush into playing the Drake. <clears throat> and Red White's gonna have a lot of ways of dealing with Precursor Golem, so I don't know if I want to rush into playing Precursor Golem either. But we'll see what I draw. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, there's that drew a shatter. Does he have another? Uh, I think it's likely he has many ways of dealing with precursor golem. I'm not gonna play around it forever though. So uh, let's see. Afterwards, I can keep. I can try to keep this purse up, potentially. So does he wish he kept shatter? He doesn't have another shatter. Or he would have played it, but maybe oh. revoke existence, turn to slag with the land. Hmm. None of the above. I like playing the Drake here just because it lets me leave Disperse up. He's presumably play a removal spell if he had one in response to me playing the Drake. Yeah, this this card is good. I 
I could have also bounced my precursor roll. But eh. Then he has a nice blocker in play, and I'm only getting in for three that way. I, I can just make more, but. Well, he's got. Oh, dispense justice. Well, I'll get rid of the precursor roll in that case. No, he cannot just. Uh, answer them all at once. Unfortunately, Bleak Hoven Vampires is no longer metal crafted, but at this point, a 4 3 looks good. So I assume he has some bombs in his deck. That, that would not be... I would not count that as a bomb. Um, I'm just going to disperse that. That lets me... Uh, cause I, if I do it during this turn, I, it lets me drop Bleak Hoven Vampires and then have Grasp of Darkness for when he presumably plays it again. I'm not going to telegraph the Grasp of Darkness by tapping them all three of my islands. I think it becomes really obvious because maybe he has options and he goes with the one that lets me win with a removal spell. I mean, there wouldn't be many options anyway. But he might just concede, in which case I don't have to show him a Grasp of Darkness. I certainly like my matchup if he's a, if he's a slow controlling deck, because uh, I, I can't imagine... Like, I, I, I assume he has some bombs, that's why that's the only reason to play red-white control, but I think Volition Reigns is a nice trump. I've got some counter spells. Yeah, there's the Revoke Existence. So he definitely has some answers for Precursor Goal. Just didn't find it when he needed it. Um. <coughs> <coughs> so, like, he probably has. Uh, Galvanic Blast, but there's nothing I can do. I can't remove the Loxed on uh, Wayfarer here, so I'm just going to swing. Probably should have kept them land in my head, knowing I have the Sky Eel Schools. So he's going to blast my Drake, or just die? Oh, I can't count. That's what's going to happen. Uh... Okay, this time I'm going to telegraph it. Hopefully I just get rid of a land here. Yeah. Always sucks when you loot with one card in hand and you... It's still fine to loot. Like, it, the only thing that can happen is your hand improves, but it always sucks when you have to lose one of two good cards. Okay. Got there. Um... Halt order is probably good. And so is Invisimancer. Even Twisted Image, if he's going to be playing like cards like 1 5s as defense, can uh, kill it after combat. Um. He also had the uh the four two golem. Yeah, 
cut wall of tangle cord here. Don't see it doing too much. Weird as it may be, I feel like I'm the aggressor. So I think uh, this first was fine for me there, but I think halt order is better. Maybe I just don't have room for the twisted image. I think uh, Invisimance is probably better than twisted image here. Okay. Go with this. Turn aside actually has some potential. I don't know how much removal he has, so let's let's see how the second game goes. His his draw was not very exciting. I'm I'm assuming it's a little bit better than his deck is a little bit better than what it was there and I can't it's hard to it's hard to get a good idea of what his deck actually does when he's like maybe it really just does nothing, but it's hard to get a good idea when he doesn't play much but does anything. Like he played the one five and the four two golem, which are both sort of marginal hand uh cards. This is keepable against him. He's mulliganed again. He did mulligan last game too. Start with an island. A Dark Seal Sentinel seems good in this matchup. Ooh, halt order. Is definitely good, and especially in like a slow hand like this. Pinions is not something I expected to see in his deck. Uh, see here, here's where it gets a little iffy. Do I? Yeah. Let's get a guy on the table. I'm not gonna hold back for a maybe artifact. And the next turn, like I can hold up for halt order, and then instill infection. If that doesn't work out, yes, yeah, okay. I'm glad I did what I did. I'm kind of, I, I was, I'm really shocked to see pinions. Like, what? It's not really a defense. Like, that's really for infect or or like the aggressive white red equipment deck. Like, I guess okay, you can block my flyers now, but maybe that's why he maybe he sided it in to block my flyers. Um, do I cycle the install affection? No. I'm just gonna run out. Ooh, coming birds good. With install affection, I'm just gonna run out the precursor golem. He likely has a shatter or revoke. That's my guess. I'm sure he has more answers than just those. He's playing white red. Mm, no shatter. Hmm. I mean, sometimes you just don't have the answer. Um, if he doesn't, I'm gonna leave man. I'm just gonna leave man open until he finds answer. If he finds an answer, and I'll draw three cards in in response. Oh no, he's got it right away. Oh well. Plan B. I'm not quite sure what Plan B is, but we'll figure that out. Dark Steel Sentinel is a nice threat to have, even though he has a blocker for now. Gold Mirror. I'd like a land here. 